Hi friends, just a quick message. If you are enjoying the content of this channel and you think you would like to take the time to support me, anything is appreciated, even a dollar a month if you want to. Check out the link down below. Patron, thank you. Namaste and enjoy your meditation. Welcome to Kari's Conscious Living. Are you ready to meditate with Kari? Lay down, get comfortable, adjust your pillow, your covers. Make sure everything is right in your bed. Reggie was walking home from school and he was in a very bad, sad mood. He lived in the UK and he was trying out for football. It was the football tryouts and he didn't get on the team. Reggie was very sad. Part of his journey on his way home was to walk across a field. The field had some trees in some flowers, it wasn't anything special, it was just an ordinary field. And along the way, there was a couple of big rocks. Sometimes Reggie would stop and sit on one of the rocks and sometimes he would completely ignore the rocks and just walk straight past. But on this particular day, walking through the field, on his way home from school, not getting on the football team, feeling very, very sad. Reggie noticed something moving on top of one of the rocks. Something moved quick enough to catch his eye. It looked to him as if it was some kind of lizard. He stopped and stood very, very still. Didn't even blink. He figured if he stood still, and didn't blink. Then the lizard wouldn't run away. Reggie was right. The lizard stopped moving too. It didn't even blink. Reggie moved one of his arms. The lizard moved one of its front legs. Reggie put his arm down and moved the opposite arm. The lizard put his front leg down and moved the opposite leg. Reggie thought, this lizard's copying me. The lizard thought, this boy is copying me. The lizard scratched his nose. So Reggie scratched his nose. The lizard patted the top of his head. So Reggie patted the top of his head without even thinking about it. He was copying the lizard too and the lizard was copying him. Reggie started to laugh. And the lizard burst out laughing and said, Are you copying me? The lizard started to funnily jump on his back legs. Reggie started laughing and jumped around on his legs. And then he sat down next to the lizard on the rock and said, Hi, my name's Reggie. I'm having a bad day. The lizard said, Hi, my name's Tommy. And I'm a chameleon and I'm having a bad day because... For some reason, I'm not changing into what I want to change into. I tried to completely disappear and turn grey and look just like the rock when you walked past, but did it work? No, you saw me. Earlier on the ground, I was trying to turn brown like the dirt. Couldn't do it. I don't know what's going on. Reggie said, Oh wow, that really does sound like you're having a bad day. I'm having a bad day because I didn't get on the football team. Almost everyone got on the football team. Did I get on the football team? No. 
you want to know why I didn't get on the football team? Because I can't do the moves I want to do. Tommy the chameleon started laughing. Sounds like we're having the same kind of day with the same kind of problem. All I want to do is just turn blue if I want to. Green if I need to. I'm not asking to change into a giraffe. Or an elephant. Or magically turn into a fairy. I just want to change colours. That's what chameleons are supposed to be able to do. They're supposed to be able to disguise themselves into a background of wherever they are. Doesn't sound like it would be that difficult, does it? But for some reason, I just can't do it. Reggie said, well, all I want to do is score a goal. Or maybe be able to tattle the ball sometimes. Or, or just do some cool moves. Or, you know, tricks. Or something that makes me look awesome on the football pitch. Can I do it? No. I'm actually terrible with a football. But I thought if I joined the football team and I got on the team, I'd make more friends and everybody would like me and then life would be perfect, right? But no, I can't even get on the team. I'm so disappointed. Tommy said, Well, do you even like football? Do you really want to play football? He thought about it for a second and then said, No, not really. I just want to be able to fit in. Be like everyone else. Tommy said, that's all I want. I just want to be able to fit in. Just blend in. Just be like everything else around me. They sat together in silence for a while. Maybe we're looking at this the wrong way, said Tommy. Maybe we should look at the fact that we don't necessarily fit in blend in as a good thing maybe it's okay to stand out maybe it's okay to not be like everyone else maybe that's just okay Reggie said well sounds like a good idea but in reality it's much easier being just like everyone else being different being Someone that doesn't fit in isn't that comfortable. In fact, it's quite lonely. Tommy said, well, I understand that, but at least now we have each other, right? And you have to walk this way after school every day, right? And it's not like I'm going to be disguised or anything. You can just look for me on the rock. And we can just tell each other about our days. We can talk to each other about our problems and life. We can tell each other about the good stuff that we have to go through or the bad stuff that we have to go through. We can be friends. Reggie said, Friends. Awesome. Let's be friends. Every day on his way home from school, Reggie would stop and talk to Tommy, the chameleon that couldn't change colours. They would make each other feel good about who they were. They would talk to each other about the things that they'd done in the day, the way that they felt. Sometimes they both had bad days and sometimes they both had really good days. But they were there for each other. They were friends. Now, how cool is that?